when we are investing in a startup, whether you are an angel, whether you are a venture capitalist, whether you are a growth investor, why are you investing? You are investing because one, you hope to make extraordinary returns for the extraordinary risk you have taken. Second, you hope to create companies that have fundamentally disrupted and created a deep impact to the consumer or the enterprise or to somebody, right? Now, if you start from there, from an investment thesis, the three things most important for a startup is, do they have something that's a very differentiated value proposition that could be a business model, that could be a technology, that could be the domain experience or expertise and insights of a founder. Uh, it can be anything, maybe they have a exclusive access to a channel, but there has to be something unique about this startup that gives them an advantage to succeed. That's one. Second, the startup should have a DNA of wanting to build a sustainable long-term business because value creation only happens when you can show continuous momentum and growth, not short-term momentum and package it. So there has to be fundamentals through which the company continues to innovate to create continuous momentum and growth. Lastly, and equally importantly, is to build long-term success, you have to make sure that it's a company that can continue to scale from your systems, processes, people. And this is important because a lot of times startups, you know, under uh, value and hence under emphasize the need to have proper controls in the company, proper adherence to governance, compliance, and they get into trouble even if they do have a great product and a great business. So that's what I would say. Whether an angel has introduced that company to me, whether uh, another entrepreneur has introduced that company to me, no matter who introduces, I look for the same things in the company, right? So that doesn't really change. Now, sometimes an angel has an insider view and a perspective that may be very valuable. They might have been associated with the company for longer and they may have a certain uh, 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 perspective they built of that that might influence our uh, investment decision. Also, it might be an angel who brings tremendous value because they have deep expertise in that sector. <coughs> Maybe, uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, uh, what Reid Hoffman, uh, when he was with LinkedIn, did as an angel to a bunch of companies because he had deep expertise in you know, social uh, networking, let us say. So an angel may be bringing a deep expertise to something and that is extremely valuable. But in terms of what I would look for in the company, uh, it's the same three things. I, I think companies will continue to get funded. I have no doubt about that. I think the bar that companies should expect on uh, showing momentum and showing differentiation uh, is shifted, fundamentally shifted. So I don't think that it is harder to raise capital. I just think that you need to have a higher quality of a business and demonstrate a longer term commitment to your vision in order to get funding now. I think Let's Venture is bringing a lot of thought leadership, a lot of dialogue that is needed among all the stakeholders. And they're also showcasing, providing spotlighting for companies that might otherwise have a hard time being noticed. I think it is absolutely right place, right time for Let's Venture to uh, provide that fundamental value to startups to be most effectively able to showcase themselves. Uh, be that be in front of a group of angels and get these deals to happen faster uh, and uh, or to uh, venture capitalists. Uh, I'm really uh, very thrilled to see this startup, Let's Venture as a startup itself, go from a vision and an idea to the momentum it has created right now. And I think that's a great story actually.